Hi guys, today we will talk about radio buttons and how to control their state in React. To understand it, we will create a mini real life project where the user can select only one payment method and submit it. To make it fun, I added a husband payment method in addition to all of the standard payment methods that we all know. We will make one of those payment methods a default, probably husband would be my preference, and we will disable submit button when none of those methods is selected. This is the final result that we will have after finishing this video. This video has two parts. In part one, which is this recording, we will write working code and in part two, we will optimize it. Getting rid of the duplications in the code, exporting CSS to a separate file and reading all of the available payment methods from JSON file, which in real life may come from your backend. So instead of hard coding them, they will be dynamic. So let's get started. We're starting from a clean React project. File, new project, React. The first step for me is preparing directory with our logo images. I will create separate directory under src directory with images and put them here. I also use Bootstrap to make my design more visually appealing. All you need to do is to go to Bootstrap page and paste this link into index.html file. I also have posted a separate video on how to set up a React project with Bootstrap, so if you struggle with this part, I'm linking this video here. Now let's add new JavaScript file and start writing our function. We'll call it payment method and it will return the component. We'll start the server locally to see if everything works as expected. You can see it did. For now we have a blank screen. And no errors in the console. Now let's add our radio buttons. Let's check it out. We can see that our one radio button was added. The next thing is we want to display a logo and a name for each payment method. We'll import our logos and insert picture into our component. It looks pretty good, but let's add a space between the radio button, the picture and the name. And here we go, one button is ready. Now let's copy the radio button code three times to create remaining buttons, MasterCard, Visa and American Express. So this is result after copying. We have four husbands. I actually like that. Unfortunately, we need to populate copied buttons with proper values. I also want them to be lined up from top to bottom, so I will create breaks between them.
Perfect. Now I will swap the logos and the names for the remaining buttons. Now we can see we have four buttons and we can select between them. Only one option can be selected because they belong to the same group. The group is defined by the name, in our case payment method. If we give other name to one of them, it will automatically become a member of a different group and the selection for this group will be separate. So let's for example add husband and mastercard to payment method to group. Now you can see that you may select husband and mastercard and one of two other methods independently. So you can make two selections across those four buttons. Of course, we don't want that, so I will undo this. One more thing that I'm gonna do is to add a margin to make it prettier and also a header. So that's it for radio buttons. For now, I will create submit button and cancel button that unchecks the selection to show you how to control the state with React. You can see that we are done with all of the visuals, but they are not very responsive. We can just switch the selections between the radio buttons and nothing happens when we click either cancel or submit button. To make our little program functional, we need a set of methods that determine what happens when we select the radio button, click submit button and cancel button. To do this, we will use react hook use state. Selected method will tell us which payment method is selected at the moment and set selected method will change the selected method. If we set use state to empty string, the default selection is none. You can see that nothing now is selected. Now we'll write a method for handling the changes that user makes when selecting a payment option. If they change it, selected method will be changed to one that has been clicked. Now we have a state defined for our radio buttons. Let's define how to handle those states when user clicks submit and cancel. If user clicks submit, we will print the selected method to a console. So event parameter in this function is click. If user clicks cancel, we will uncheck the selection. So set selected method to empty string. And submit button will be disabled if nothing is selected. Now all we need to do is to add those methods into our components. Checked will return value if the button is selected. And on change prop will be linked to handle payment method change. We'll do it for all of them.
and now we are left with the functions for buttons. So for submit on click we have a handle submit, for cancel on click we have a handle cancel. And we also want to disable submit button if nothing is selected. Alright, let's test our changes. You can see we can now select payment method submitted and it will print out to the console. If we click cancel, nothing is selected and submit button is disabled. We can now default any payment method we want. I will do the husband. Last thing that I will do is I will add additional component right before the buttons to display the selected method for the user. And last but not least, let's take care of the picture formats. We'll set them to the same size. That's it for this video. Now, if you paid attention to our code, you probably noticed that it's not very efficient. We were copy pasting a lot, hard coding all payment methods and their properties, which makes our code difficult to maintain and change. In our case, we only have four radio buttons, but what if we had 100 and we needed to change or remove one prop? you would need to make changes in 100 places. In part two of this video, which is linked here, I will show you how to avoid it, how to make our radio button component more generic, so reusable in other parts of your application, export CSS styling, so it's the same across the application, and make a list of dynamic parameters that will read from external JSON file, so you can pass even 100 payment methods and radio buttons will be instantly created for you.